As an island, Taiwan is blessed with less forests, fertile farmland, and abundant marine life. However, the country is limited in terms of metal mines. Thus, all demand for precious metals have to be met by imports. But since the concept of urban mining came out in 1988, it is now possible that Taiwan will no longer have to import precious metals. As an island, Taiwan relies on imports due to lack of natural resources. But we heard there are mines right now in Taipei. Fifteen minutes away from Taipei's landmark, Taipei 101, one finds one of the rumored mines on Xinjiang Road in Neihu. This is a so-called urban mine. There are piles of recyclables here, but no mines. The scraps will be collected by businesses, so they may be sold and reprocessed to be reused again. It's turning things that we no longer use or want, and which are readily available into recycled resources. The concept of urban mining is to harvest valuable resources from discarded electronics and appliances. The term was coined by Professor Nanjo Michio of Japan's Tohoku University in 1988. And follow-up studies show that Japan has currently accumulated enough metal to be self-sufficient. In truth, none of these items belong in a landfill or an incinerator, as that will cause serious pollution. So we try to make the best use of these items and extend their lease on life through recycling. That is urban mining. In 2012 alone, over 230 million TVs and 440 million tablet and desktop PCs were sold worldwide, all of which will likely be discarded within several years. Studies show that electronic waste is possibly one of the direst problems of the 21st century. In Taiwan alone, about 200,000 units of consumer electronics are discarded a month. If they are treated as trash, the impact on the environment will be horrendous. However, when recycled, they become 4,100 tons of metal and 1,300 tons of plastic, both of which are valuable resources. This is the exterior of an AC unit, which is plastic. An AC is mostly made of copper and aluminum. The plastic is but a small part. Inside, there is refrigerant. In the eyes of experts, washers, TVs and refrigerators all contain valuable resources. One ton of discarded motherboards contains 300 grams of gold, 1 kilogram of silver, 172 kilograms of copper and 120 kilograms of tin. From one ton of old mobile phones, 150 grams of gold can be recycled compared to mining, which only produces 5 grams of gold from one ton of ore. This is a lot more efficient and cuts out dependency on imported natural resources. This means our cell phones, tablets and even credit cards should not be discarded for they are valuable resources. By recycling and reusing them, we will no longer have to go source from mines abroad. These items are in fact Taiwan's very own mines. The natural resources of our earth are not limitless. Since major raw material exporting countries such as China are limiting the exports of precious metals and rare earth elements, it is ever more vital for every country to treasure what is readily available right within their borders.